Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jeko. All right, so to simplify this, we get what we've been given. So we have 4 minus 2 open bracket B minus uh, A minus 1. So this is uh, question A. So now what we need to do here, we need to follow the rules. So rule number 1, so let me put them here. Rule number one, brackets. So get rid of the brackets. Rule number two, arrange like terms. Rule number three, add or subtract. So these are the three rules that we need to apply in order for us to answer this. So we're going to say equal to we have a, a 4 there, okay? Or before we write this, let's understand one thing. So when we say get rid of the brackets, we need to remove these brackets. So now what rule or what method are we supposed to, to, to apply here? We check the number that is in front here together with its sign. So when we say the number that is in front of the brackets, we don't mean including this. Remember, there is minus here. So minus is separating this and this. So you just get a negative 2. A 2 and a negative here. Okay. So now you start multiplying. So you shall have a 4 here. Okay. Negative 2 times B, it will be negative 2. Negative 2 B. Negative times negative, it will give us a positive. 2 times A, it will be a 2A. So remember here, this is very important. It's very important. When you've got a negative, which is right here, and a negative that is inside the brackets, when you multiply them, they give you positive. So you must keep this. This is where most people make mistakes. And then we say minus a 1. Next, we say equal to, we come now to this point. We are done with it, getting rid of the brackets. So now we come to arranging. So we check. Which terms have got uh, which terms are alike? So we have got a, a four here without a variable and a negative one. So these are like terms. Here we have got negative two b. Is there anything else with a b? No. Here we have got two a. Is there anything else with a? No. So this and this will remain. We are going to write four minus one. We want to put them together minus 2b plus 2a. So these two will maintain because they are just uh, alone. This one is alone and this one is alone. So stay equal to 4 minus uh, 1, it's a 3 minus 2b plus 2a. And this is our solution. So now we go to the next question, question b. For question B, we need to also apply the same rules. So we have 4x minus uh, 2y, sub plus actually 2y minus 3 there, x minus 8y. So this is question B. So rule number one, we get rid of the brackets. Okay, so what are we going to do? We multiply what is in front of the bracket? So like here, we have 4. 4 times x, it's 4x. 4 times uh, 2, 2y, it's uh, 8y. We come to this side where there is a negative. So negative times uh, a 3x, it will be uh, negative. Actually, it's, it, it will be just be negative 3x. So negative times negative 8y, it will be positive 80y. So remember, like we said in our previous question, that uh, if you've got a negative here and a negative inside here, inside the brackets, they will change to positive. So this is the positive that we have. Thereafter, we say equal to, we come to rule number two, we arrange. So 4x minus 3x plus 8y plus 80y. So here we add or subtract. So we, we, we subtract here. 4x minus 3x, it will just give us x. 
because 4 minus 3 it's 1 and you get the data x so it will be 1 x of which we just write it as the x we know that there is a 1 in front here we shall have a plus 16 y because 8 y plus y uh, 8 y it will be 16 y 8 plus 8 16 and get the sign which is the y so this is what uh, you do we go to the last question the last question 3 x minus uh, y minus 2 x minus 3 y so this is question c rule number one get rid of the brackets so equal to 3 negative y plus 2x minus 3y. So if you have seen what is happening, mostly these examiners, they bring a situation where you need to change the sign. So negative and negative, it gave us a, a positive. Here it's this one. Here it gave us a positive uh, 2x. Next step, we arrange. So we're going to say 3x plus 2x. Uh, this we are arranging like tips y minus y minus 3y so we're going to get a 5x minus 4y so you may be wondering that how have i gotten a negative 4 here so if you can see here we have a positive and here positive so we added 3 plus 2 it gave us 5 and we got a positive sign here we have got a negative 1 this is negative 1 and a negative 3. So we do the same. 3 or 1 plus 3, it's a 4. And get the sign, which is a negative. So when you've got the same signs, you add and get the sign that you're able to see. Different signs, you subtract. So in this case, we just add here a negative y minus 3y to give us a, this solution. Thank you so much for watching. So if you'd like to learn more mathematics with us, you can uh, WhatsApp us so that we add you to our online class. The number is right here. The number is right here to WhatsApp or call 0969 17 57 01. Bye-bye.